Fill enhance the atmosphere of our scene by adding fog. To begin, let's select the exponential height fog that we've already added to our scene. We'll use its attributes to customize the fog settings. First, we'll adjust the fog density to increase its density and see how it affects the scene. By increasing the fog density, we can create a thicker and more immersive atmosphere. Next, we'll adjust the fog height fall off to control how the fog density changes with height. This allows us to create a gradual transition between areas with different fog densities. Lastly, we'll use the secondary fog density to further increase the amount of fog in the scene. This helps to fill the space with more atmospheric effects, adding depth and realism to the environment. We'll fine-tune the fog attributes to further enhance the environment. To start, let's update the scattering distribution. This allows us to control how light scatters through the fog, affecting the overall appearance and mood of the environment. Next, we'll adjust options such as view distance. Start distance. and near fade-in distance. These settings help us fine-tune the fog's appearance and behavior, ensuring a more immersive environment. as we update the sky position again. Take a moment to observe how the environment changes. Notice how the fog interacts with the new sky position, altering the overall look and feel of the scene. Isn't it amazing how adjusting the fog settings can completely transform the environment? To begin, let's add a post-process volume to the scene. This will allow us to apply various visual effects and adjustments. I'll explore the available attribute options to see what we can tweak. First, I'll tick mark on the unbound option. This enables the post-process volume to affect the entire environment, ensuring that our visual effects are applied throughout the scene. Now, let's focus on specific options, like bloom and exposure. By adjusting these settings, we can enhance the brightness and intensity of light sources in our scene.
pay close attention to how I tweak these attributes. Take a moment to observe the changes in the scene as I update the post-process volume settings. Notice how the visual effects enhance the overall look and feel of our environment. The post-process volume settings and enable it.